In this video, we're going to take a look at removing these aftermarket secondary catalytic converter oxygen sensor. Originally, our vehicle came with these oxygen sensor. The blue wire is for the right side and the red wire is for the left side. But both of the oxygen sensor are the same thing since they are bank one and bank two secondary oxygen sensor. So to remove these oxygen sensor, we have to cut the wire to install our box end of the 22 millimeter combination wrench. It is always best to use a 22 millimeter line wrench that looks something like this for removing these oxygen sensor without cutting of its harness wire. You will notice fix to the wiring harness are various plastic retainer clip. These clips are going to require removal and you're going to need a needle nose pliers like this. In this video, a 22 millimeter combination wrench will be used for removing the fairly new oxygen sensor. In most events, it is highly recommended that you use a line wrench that looks like this, 22 millimeter in size, for removing either of the oxygen sensor. Before we can disconnect any electronic harness or component, the battery terminal must be disconnected and removed from the engine compartment. The battery must always be placed on a bench, never on the ground. If the battery should be placed on the ground, this will cause the battery to discharge, damaging its cell. Okay, so another thing I like to do is I like to place this cardboard between the battery and the metal of the vehicle. As you notice, you can see corrosion. This is from before we placed the cardboard. Sometimes the acid from the battery or the fluid from the battery will cause this corrosion. To prevent that corrosion, we need to use this cardboard. Now it's time for us to begin removing this secondary oxygen sensor. We're going to require to disconnect its plug and unclip its socket from the bracket of the valve cover. So you're going to notice the secondary oxygen sensor is the square plug in compare to the primary oxygen sensor which is a rectangular plug. Let's disconnect the left side oxygen sensor. Now we must pass these plug harness down to the bottom of the vehicle and then we continue unscrewing the oxygen sensor. This is the right side secondary oxygen sensor harness. You're going to see this clear plastic clip. In some cases it might be a different color. This clip is going to be under the heater core. It's going to require disconnecting. This here is our left side secondary oxygen sensor which require unclipping of the harness from the back of the plenium and then it could be passed to the left side. Once the left side secondary oxygen sensor wire harness with plug can be passed to the left side engine compartment, then we will try to pass it down to the bottom where the oxygen sensor is located. From below the left side of the vehicle, we will now grab the harness and tug on it lightly so we could bring the plug down the bottom of the vehicle. So you have to be careful and make sure this plug does not get caught up like this. And when you pull the harness, it will most likely disconnect from inside. You have to be very gentle with relocating the harness. Now we can remove the oxygen sensor. In most events, 
removal of the exhaust oxygen sensor will require a 22 millimeter line wrench position like this. In some event, a combination wrench can be used if the oxygen sensor is fairly new. By simply twisting the sensor, a half a turn will release it from the pipe. Removal of the left side secondary oxygen sensor will require you to access your hand up in this area. And then the oxygen sensor can be turned by hand for removal. So the sensor is going to require two hands for removal because you're going to have to hold the harness with one hand while you turn with another. So the objective here is to assist the oxygen sensor by turning the wire harness with it. You do not want the four wire coming out of the oxygen sensor to become entangled like a rope. Now that we've removed the sensor, we want to make sure we don't get any oil on the end. We want to place it in a secure containment area. Now we're on the right side exhaust manifold and we want to do the same thing on this side by slightly tugging on the oxygen sensor harness so it can be passed down to the bottom of the vehicle. Okay, so this is the position of our 22 millimeter wrench on the oxygen sensor. Now we just want to pull on that wrench to just snap the oxygen sensor loose. Then again, we're going to use our hands for turning it for removal, but we always have to remember that the wire is going to create a restriction and turn in the oxygen sensor with your fingers. Okay, so once you're finally finished twisting the sensor off and holding the other end of the harness, you want to make sure this don't happen. You see how the wire is twisting? Well, that could cause the wire to break. So it's required that you hold the harness while turning the oxygen sensor at the same time. 